Hi, Lincoln families. I hope everybody is doing well. Know that we love and miss you, and we are here for you as much as we can be throughout all of this craziness. So this video here is how to access the assignments for your students and for you. So we're gonna start here on the district homepage. This is for if you are using any mobile device, a laptop, iPad, tablet, here's what you'll want to do. If you start at the district web page, if you are on a district device, you might have over here in the top right corner a clever shortcut. You could click that and it'll take you right to the clever launch page. If not, you'll scroll down here where it says student and click. And then once you get to the student page, welcome PPS students, scroll down and over to the left, you'll see this purple bar here that says student resources. And you'll click here. Here you'll see launch clever. You'll click that. And it takes you to the clever login page. Now you'll notice, here's the information for logging in, username and password, the special note for if your child is in third through 12th grade, in our case, three to five, or if they are a pre-K, K, one or two, what their passwords are. If you don't know your student's login information, please reach out to your teacher and they can provide it for you. So you'll wanna go here over the C, student login, and many of your scholars, your students, your children, they know how to do this already because they've done this all year for the different programs that we use at Lincoln. You might have your child's login information automatically pop in like I do, or if not, you would type it in there. Once you've done that, there's this, I'm choosing my youngest child, my child, my fourth grader who's at Lincoln, and then I click login, and it starts to load. So what you'll see here is your child's dashboard. At the top would be the popular programs that they use. That's why they have the little hearts there. If you don't see it at the top and you're looking for Microsoft Teams, you would scroll down and you'll find it. Now please take note, if you are on a computer, a laptop, a desktop, you'll want this app. If you're on an iPad, you'll want this app. So there's two different ones. And if it's not at the top, if you click the heart, the next time your child logs in, the app will be at the top for you. So I'm on a laptop. I'm going here. Okay, so it'll bring you to the sign in. Now this time when your child signs in, still saying the beginning, but now it's their entire school email address. So the same ST, first initial, last name, and designated number at students dot pghschools.org. Next, same password that got you into Clever. It's the same sign in password. And once it comes in, all of your child's classes will pop up. So you'll see. This is their dashboard for the different subjects and different classes that they attend. They're all here. So, now, where do you get to their assignments? Glad you asked that. So here we have, right now my son has Miss Brown for English Language Arts. So I will click on this class and you'll come to the general page with any post, any conversations, any small videos or things that might be there, but the biggest thing that you're looking for are the assignments. You'll want to go here, okay, to find your assignments. Once you click on them and they load, you'll see a list of the assignments here. So what you'll wanna do, click on an assignment, and any instructions that the teacher might have for you will be here how many points the assignment is worth, and then the assignment itself is right here. 
and I would click on it and it opens up. As it is, it's just, just read only, so you can see what it is. So he has chapters to read, he has a purpose for reading, and then the close read, which means the second time the child reads, they're reading again, a little bit more closely, paying attention for certain things, there's the guidance for that. And then if you want extra support on that close read or anything, anytime you see a QR code, you can use that from your phone. Just scan the QR code, it will take you to a link that offers more support for the assignment. Now, when I, it's time to work on the assignment up here, you have edit the document, you have a choice. You can either edit in desktop if you have a Windows app. So Microsoft Word, you can do that or edit in the browser, which is right here online. It's up to you how you want to engage. So I may want to work here, although I'm my son, so I'm not going to do much of anything, but then we can start. He's reading his chapters and it's a Word document. So now, as you can see, my cursor popped up. So now he could type on it. I read chapter one today. And so, and he did, he read chapter one today. And then you would continue. And it, if you'll notice at the top, see where it says saved? As I was typing, it started saving. It's automatic. It, you'll see it says we automatically save your changes. So you don't have to worry, is it saving it? Is it keeping it? There it is. So read to find out. And now, which details in the story re reveal what is important to Greg? Again, I can just click my cursor. When I was reading, and as you see, look up here, it said saving and saved as I was typing. And then you can answer the question, fill in the blanks, whatever it is that you have to do. But I'm going to take this out of here because that's for him to do, not me. Okay, when you have finished, or maybe you did some of it today, you'll do some of it tomorrow, do it in pieces, you'll hit close. Now, when you're completely finished with an assignment, you're all finished, you're sure that's the best the child could do, you're happy with your effort because you did the best you could, up here in the right corner, you see where it says turn in. And that's when you submit it for the teacher to see. Okay? Okay. So I hope this was helpful. Please, again, reach out if you have any questions. We can't wait to see you again. We love you. We miss you. And we hope you all stay safe and be well. Bye.